Okay, my presentation is about CAR T cells. Um, to explain, CAR T cells are chimeric antigen receptor T cells. So they're genetically modified um, T cells that are used to treat um, specific types of cancer currently are FDA approved. Um, others, many others, are currently being studied. Um, my presentation actually is a joint presentation with a physician colleague um, who is actually from a different institution than mine. He'll be covering more the science of exactly how the cells work. My portion of the presentation is um, about advanced practice providers management of the many side effects associated with this treatment. CAR T cell therapy is so unique um, in that it is a very targeted, there are targeted therapies out there, but this one actually attacks a specific antigen on the cell surface. Um, so it, unlike our conventional therapies of chemotherapy and radiation, which damage a lot of other cells um, during their treatment of the cancer cells, this one targets only those malignant cells um, or cells very, very similar to those malignant cells. So in that way, um, the, the patient goes um, their normal cells go a little less scathed um, by the treatment. The other very unique thing about CAR T cell therapy is it's referred to as a living drug. Um, so in that way, as long as there are malignant cells there to continue to stimulate these cells, the CAR T cells continue to replicate, make more of themselves, and then um, continue to work on the malignancy and treating it. So it's not dose and done. I always think the role of the oncology nurse begins with education of the patient. Um, so educating the patients about the entire therapy. So it begins with they collect the patient's own cells. So they have to be educated on the whole apheresis procedure. Often that requires a central line. So educating them on the care of their central line. Um, then we go to lymphodepletion chemotherapy where the patient receives um, significant doses of chemotherapy has side effects associated with that, then the next step is actually getting um, the CAR T cell therapy, which again can have a lot of side effects associated with it. So the patients and their family members or their caregivers need to be a, um, familiar with those side effects and recognize those side effects, especially if they're being treated as an outpatient. The role more on the inpatient side for the, the nurses caring for these patients are to themselves recognize these side effects, the potential side effects, recognize them early, act upon those. Um, were the providers eyes and ears at the bedside um, watching those patients 24-7? Um, I think the two biggest um, side effects that we spend a lot of time managing and require a lot of knowledge specific to CAR T cell therapy are cytokine release syndrome. Um, this is, um, so when the cells activate, they release cytokines. Um, when the body has an overabundance of cytokines, um, the body has adverse effects related to that. These adverse effects sim, um, are very similar to sepsis. Um, so the nurse has to be um, aware of that. They have to know how to treat both of those two things simultaneously because the patient is at risk for sepsis as well due to the lymphodepletion chemotherapy they received. So the nurse has to be um, very cognizant of being able to treat both things because you don't know which one you're treating initially until maybe you get a blood culture back or something like that. Um, so treating cytokine release is a big one. The next one that usually comes after cytokine release or um, a little bit further down in the therapy line is neurotoxicity. This particular um, side effect can be very frightening for both the patient and their family. Um, in some cases, it can mimic stroke. The patient sometimes has trouble finding their words. Um, so that's very scary for a patient because they're still very cognizant of what's happening around them. If neurotoxicity progresses, um, then it becomes more scary for the family members um, because they're seeing their 
their loved one um, potentially acting very strange um, or even becoming almost comatose. Um, so that's very, very scary. Um, the nurses is, is um, integral in caring for both the patient um, but also providing that um, support to the patient's family members as well. I think the biggest take home message um, is this therapy is so new. We're all learning together. Um, we need each other. We need to share our knowledge um, with our colleagues. I think I have networked more. I've been in transplant for almost 30 years now. And while we're always learning new things, this one especially has been use your friends, phone a friend, make friends, um, use the resources around you because we're all learning um, about this therapy and the best way to care for our patients. Thank <laughs> you.